In this video, I'm going to be talking about the TubeBuddy Advanced Embed Tool so that you can understand how it makes embedding your YouTube videos a piece of cake. <laughs> it really does simplify the whole process. If you have ever tried to embed a video either on your website, on a blog or something like that, um, you'll know that it can be quite tricky to find the exact bit of code that you need to make it look the way you want it to because there are lots of different things that we can change. For example, you know, do you want it to autoplay? Do you want it to loop? Do you want the controls to be displayed on screen? All these sorts of different parameters and they've all got some extra little bit of code that you have into the, the overall embedding code. And uh, I, in the past, have hunted <laughs> for this sort of stuff on the uh, on the internet to find out what little bit of code I need to add in to get it looking the way that I want it. Uh, but it's much simpler with this little tool from TubeBuddy. So let's have a little look at how to use it, shall we? Let's say that I want to uh, embed, I'm obviously in my, uh, in my content list on YouTube Studio. Let's say that I wanted to embed this last video that I did about TubeBuddy. Uh, let's say I want to embed a uh, maybe even a snippet of that on my, uh, my blog, for example. Uh, so I'm going to come over to the little TubeBuddy icon next to that particular video. Uh, so as I scroll down, you can see the little TubeBuddy icon appears next to all the videos. So I'm going to click on that one. That opens up all of these uh, other options. So many great tools with TubeBuddy, <laughs> like at the video level, it's uh, it's quite amazing, really. Um, so I'm going to come down to the miscellaneous tools, and I'm going to come down to the advanced embed option. And uh, it says advanced, and it can do some advanced things, but it's really easy to use. So that's uh, that's a relief for me. <laughs> uh, so you'll notice down here, first of all, there is the embed code. So you can just copy that straight away, and it will copy the code to then use to embed this particular video on your website, your blog, wherever you are embedding it. Uh, but we do have these options, and in fact. We'll start up at the top here. We've got uh, the video size. Uh, so you can choose from the drop down what size you want the video. Uh, and you'll notice here, so we've got the width 560 by 315. If I was to come down here and change it to 640 by 365, uh, for, by 360, sorry, uh, you'll notice that it has just changed the code. So anything we're doing in here is automatically updating that little uh, code snippet down at the bottom. And there's just a copy button here to uh, copy it when you're ready. Uh, you can also play the video from a specific time to a specific time. So if you are just talking about something in particular, you can just have it going from, you know, X seconds or minutes to uh, to another time, uh, and then when it's when you play it on the uh, the site where you have embedded it, uh, it will play from that point to the uh, to the other point. You've also got some options down here, so uh, autoplay video, uh, self-explanatory all of these really. Uh, autoplay video, do you want it to loop the video? Auto hide the play bar and uh, disable play controls. You may wonder why people would want to disable the play controls. Well. Often people are embedding these videos, uh, for example, in uh, maybe it's a landing page for a sales funnel or something like that. And so you've created a sales video and you just want it on the landing page. So when people go through, maybe it auto plays the video and you want it to just play all the way through. Uh, that's a reason why you might want to disable those controls. Speaking from experience, that's why I tend to use uh, embedding for. Um, next is disable full screen uh, for a similar purpose, actually, if you are doing something where You've got other information on screen to accompany the video and you don't want the video taking over the full screen and hiding whatever you know, other information you might want to be presenting, uh, then that's why you might want to uh, disable the uh, the full screen view there. Uh, next is modest branding. That's going to tone down the, uh, the YouTube branding on the uh, video player. Uh, next is disable keyboard controls. So for a similar reason, if you have disabled the play controls that are actually on the screen, uh, you may want to also then disable the keyboard controls so that uh, they also are not having the same level of control from the keyboard, just as they aren't with the uh, the playhead. Uh, next, force force closed captions. <laughs> uh, that is to uh, obviously just have the uh, the closed captions, the subtitles, whatever you want to call them on the screen uh, all of the time, uh, regardless of if they've been toggled on or off. So again, if you're sending someone through to a page with some information, you want to make sure that even if they've got their sound off, they're still seeing all of the message from the outset, uh, then you could uh, force those on. Next is ad enable advanced privacy mode. Uh, this is actually to stop YouTube from tracking the people who are visiting the video from the embedded location. So if uh, obviously uh, we know that YouTube is a master at uh, tracking and Google is as well. Um, and uh, so this would basically just limit the amount of tracking that they're doing. So if you've embedded it on your website, for example, uh, you wouldn't have the same. They wouldn't be tracking in quite the same way as they would be on YouTube. 
Next one down is enable JavaScript API. So there is a way with uh, JavaScript using their JavaScript API that you can have control over videos and functions and things like that um, if you have uh, coded them into your website. So uh, if you know what this is, you'll know what it is, but this basically enables that function so that you can uh, have control over the, uh, the video and things like that from the, uh, from the site. Uh, so once we've changed all of those things, and I'll just go and toggle a few of these on at random, you can see how as I'm doing this, it's basically just uh, adding in all of these little uh, snippets to the um, uh, and toggles to the little uh, code embed code down below. Uh, and then once you're ready, you can just copy that uh, and paste it. And now you're going to know exactly how your video is going to look when it is embedded on your website. So over the last few videos, we've talked about quite a lot of things related to in this TubeBuddy series, I should say. Uh, we've talked about quite a lot of things in terms of, you know, getting your content right, getting your content uploaded. Uh, and this is just another uh, part of, you know, getting the content out to people. But once you have actually got your content out, um, then you're going to be wanting to uh, potentially at some point in the future, make some adjustments, make some edits, you know, as your channel grows, you may want to uh, uh, link to different videos, change up end cards and all that sort of stuff. Well, fortunately, you can do all of this with ease with the uh, bulk edit f uh, functions with uh, TubeBuddy. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in the next video. So I'll see you in that video so you can learn all about that too.